Music is, is very vital to my life. It's emotion, it's state of mind. It's that moment that you're trying to imagine, what is this going to sound like? Imagine the possibilities. It's kind of like a different way of doing things. Just let your mind go free and then just imagine, imagine music. From Miles Davis to Jane's Addiction. What really got me started was The Police and Stuart Copeland. Buddy Rich, Metallica. Old Elvis stuff. Jimi Hendrix. Billy Joel, Elton John. Bob Dylan, Graham Parsons. Zeppelin. Simon and Garfunkel. I kind of went through a punk phase. Well, you know, I do, I do listen to Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. The, that Johnny Cash boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Primus. Rush. Guns N' Roses. The Beatles. Then I got into Alan Holdsworth, and then no girls liked me after that. <laughs> you know, you gotta start in the clubs, you gotta kinda build your way up to it. And I feel like paying my dues, I was able to get to a certain level, you know, and then through all that experience. I don't get freaked out if I'm playing from a Joe Walsh. I'm a little freaked out inside. That was probably my biggest accomplishment ever was being able to sit in a room with Joe Walsh and hang and write and feel like, you know, he didn't think I was inferior to him. And he's a cool guy. I mean, if you have a good idea, he'll listen, you know. And also the tour with him was amazing. I, I play in a band called Nearly Naked. It was sort of like a melodic, groovy, alternative rock band. You know, it's just a fun way to, to keep up my songwriting and keep recording and ultimately keep uh, exploring my passion for music. It's interesting to see people's reactions that haven't really been exposed to stranger types of music or musics that really go outside the lines and go outside the box and it's cool to see Jaws drop. I mean, how often do you uh, listen to something or any art medium and, and say, I don't know if I've ever felt that way after viewing this or listening to this, you know? And I think that's the main goal in uh, my musical pursuit, for sure. <laughs> used to be I was a singer who played bass. Now I'm a bass player who sings. Uh, I enjoy it. I love it. Music's always been a part of my life. If I'm not playing about it, I'm writing about it. And, you know, it doesn't get any better than this. I, I think of myself as a different type of DJ than, than the standard club DJ. I saw all these DJs um, when I lived in Japan and when I lived in Portugal. I'd see, go to nightclubs and I'd see DJs, and I was just so enthralled by what they're doing. I had no idea what they're doing, but I know that they're commanding a crowd, and that's what I wanted to do. When I see that someone who I've never met knows the words to one of my songs, that I sleep like a baby. Well, I quit my job in Reno, the casino. What do you know? It felt good. The current most active band I'm in is called Chuckanut Drive. That's a country rock band. And uh, that's been in, in, around in some form or another for over 10 years. I joined probably two years ago. And it's a lot of fun. I play more shows with Chuck Nut than any other band I'm currently involved with. Drums to me is. Um, it's like a puzzle. It's like a constant puzzle that you try to solve. What I like about it is there's no, uh, there's no end to the creativity. I think all my heroes and the approach that they've taken, which is the same approach I like to think of, is that our role there is to make everybody on stage play better than they've ever played. And they're not distracted by a drummer back there. I got to play with Lee Rittenauer, which was, he was one of my heroes. Shaka Khan with Herbie Hancock, Marcus Miller, David Sanborn, and that was all my all what I wanted to do. When I heard that real, real simple drum and bass beat, I was like, what kind of beat is that? How do you play that?
Growing up as a musician, I had to have everything. Especially as a one-man band, I needed to have tons of gear. And Behringer made it really easy for me to do that. I own a small Behringer mixer, like one of the little 802s. And it was the first Behringer product that I was, I was ever aware of. And I was like, really, is that inexpensive? Because it does pretty much everything it's going to need to do at, you know, half the price of what the other guy's stuff is doing. The 2442FX was the first Behringer mixer I ever bought. I, I have to admit, I was kind of skeptical at the price. I think it was 350 bucks at the time for a 24-channel mixer. And uh, it ended up being great. You know, I made a lot of recordings at the time and played dozens of shows on it. And, you know, it was rock solid and it ended up being, you know, completely worth the money. I've actually heard musicians say, I would not have been able to pursue a career in this if I hadn't gotten my start and having had the opportunity to get the equipment you need to get off the ground, which is, you know, something that, that Behringer has enabled and, and, you know, so many people are so grateful for. You know, one of, one of the f most fascinating things about uh, Uli Behringer to me is how, how young he is and how young he was when he started the company 20 years ago. He built a synthesizer at 16. And he basically started off with just him and, you know, his, his apartment building gear. And I think that's pretty cool to see how, see how massive it's grown in such a short amount of time. When you talk about Behringer, I mean, we're all over the world. We have 3,500 employees. Um, most of those are in the factory in China. We have offices in Seattle, Singapore, in the Philippines, in Monaco, you know, offices all over the world. I, I always heard he likes to play, but then one day I walked out and he's actually playing on the piano while people were walking in. And I'm not sure if anybody knew, but this is the man who started the company, you know, playing on a piano with his name on it. You know, he's very, very passionate about the company, about the products, and probably even more so about the employees, the people that bring all of these products to marketplace. The more feedback that they have from their artists and from, from fans of Behringer and customers, um, I think that that is a real positive thing for the growth of, of any company. The social media tools actually give us a, a unique opportunity to interact directly with the consumers and find out exactly what it is that they're looking for. As social media coordinator, I basically have a direct line between the end users and our conception departments. So I get all kinds of feedback regarding the kinds of products people would like to see, the kind of enhancements to existing products that people would like to see. We often get some, some pretty good ideas. We're always listening. Without Behringer, people wouldn't be making nearly as much music as, uh, as they are today. And so Behringer has, has you know, done everyone a huge favor by, by making great products. With Behringer's gear and with the, the massive scope that the Behringer produces, you, you, you can make an entire PA system just out of Behringer gear. You can have an entire home recording studio with nothing but, but stuff that Behringer makes. Here's this gear that's there to support you and what your creative endeavor is, and um, it's going to be reliable, and we're going to amplify your creativity in that way. Imagine Music to me means unlocking potential in every musician, every person who has ever thought about becoming a musician. What really encompasses everybody that endeavors to be a musician and to love music. And sometimes it will surprise you what you will like. Unless you know how to use this gear, it all stays up here. It, all, it, it never gets out and that can be maddening. No, no boundaries. No. Anything you can imagine. Whatever problems I have are just gone for 45 minutes, you know, while I'm up on stage. I mean, ultimately, music is imagination, you know. I imagine music all day long. It's fun. It's not just a job, you know. It's like, I love music and I love everything that it, you know, that it brings to the world. Let's all join hands. Imagine music. I'm